when politics seems to be dominated by people without ability, these women are able. Tanya Plibersek and Conchetta Fiorvaranti Wells. Conchetta, can I come to you first? We have a President of the United States in cognitive decline and an acting Prime Minister of Australia who yesterday was asked about the mice plague and why the government was doing nothing. He responded that the farmers were doing well because we've got a free trade agreement with Britain. Today, he was asked this question by Tony Burke. Yesterday, I met with Kate, who, while working in South Australia, was paid $25 a day to pick 800 kilos of oranges. Wow. Kate worked seven days a week, but still had to search for food in local supermarket garbage bins. Wow. Why does the government allow conditions like this in Australia? Uh, we do have a welfare safety net system here in Australia, and it is the envy of the world. We do have the highest the minimum Minister wage. Report. We've got the highest minimum wage anywhere in the world. That, that's what we have in Australia, and we should be proud of that. The question goes specifically to someone who has paid peace rates. They, they don't receive the minimum wage. It, it's part of how it works in Australia. Conchetta, can I ask you, as a member of the government, please confirm that you are embarrassed that such incompetence can be rewarded with the status of acting Prime Minister? Well, I think, Alan, you have to understand that under the coalition agreement, uh, the leader of the National Party, and this has been a long-standing uh, situation, that the leader of the National Party uh, becomes the Deputy Prime Minister and Michael McCormack was elected by his party room to be their leader and as such is the Deputy Prime Minister. But are you embarrassed now, by that? Are you embarrassed by that? Well, this is representing well, Australia. This goes all around the world. Alan, um, I think that uh, I just saw, the, saw those ex excerpts. I think that what Michael was trying to talk about was the fact that this Kate, and I don't know who Kate was, and I'm not sure about the per uh, circumstances of Kate, but it went to the fact that uh, there is a, a safety net in Australia. Now, I understand that there was a lot a bloke, of brouhaha Wouldn't a bloke and with any ability, Conchetta, wouldn't a bloke with any ability say, look, if what Mr Burke is saying is right, let me say emphatically, that is unacceptable. You get me the details and I'll make sure someone in government looks into the whole matter. Wouldn't you say that? Instead of standing up well, and saying we've got the best minimum wage in the world and we've got a welfare system. Tanya Plibersek, your thoughts on this? Well, um, Kate's situation is that she has to fill a, an 800 kilogram bin with oranges. It takes all day to do that. She earns $25 for filling that bin with oranges. And it is shocking that the Deputy Prime Minister doesn't understand how tough some people are doing it. Um, mm. Kate and other workers that she, she was with used to go around the back of the local coals and look through the out of date food in the bins that they were throwing away. Um, because once they'd paid more than 100 bucks a week each in rent, um, there wasn't much left over for buying food. Uh, it is mm. shocking uh, that I just in think Australia today that I people are dumpster diving yeah, but to support the themselves at the pub, and they're a working the full pub time, and, seven a days at, a week. A bloke at the pub would know how to answer that question and simply say, hang on, hang on, you can't go on like this. Give me the details and we'll look into it. Tanya Plibersek, can I ask you on yeah, a very personal level... It's not right level, and I'll fix it. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Can I ask you on a very personal yeah. level, are you aware that... In the chamber this week, you were targeted by a senior figure in the government with some rather off-colour remarks about your husband's past, and these apparently were not captured by recordings because they were off microphone. Your husband is a very senior figure in the New South Wales Public Service. How do you respond to that? Hmm. Look, I don't think it's much of a secret, Alan, that about 40 years ago, when my husband was in his early teens, he had a... A, um, a heroin habit and he, and he sold heroin to support that habit and he got busted by the police um, uh, conspiring to import heroin and he went to jail. And he went to jail for a, a few years. Um, luckily, he went to a Salvation Army rehab before that, but I think rehab and jail probably saved his life. Um, he knows he did the, right thing, the wrong thing. He knows that it was right that he went to jail uh, I agree that it was right that he went to jail. I I'm not really sure why Peter Dutton felt the need to raise it, but what I would say is Michael's story of reform and the hope that it gives people who've got a family member struggling with drug addiction is what I hang on to. I I'm proud of my husband. I think he's, his story of reform, the wonderful um, father and husband that he is, is a real tribute to him and a great Australian success yes. story. Well, look, I, I just want to say I have known Tanya Plibersek's husband for a long time. I've found him to be a man who's risen above that teenage mistake.
to serve governments of all political persuasions with distinction. No one should have to suffer this below the belt stuff, but I have to say it does come from both sides. Mm -hmm. Which brings me to you, Conchetta. Who's going to pull the ABC into line for its persistent attacks, often dishonest, against senior government figures, the latest being an attack on Scott Morrison, whom it sought to tarnish by visiting upon him the ideological traits of one of his friends, Conchetta? Well, Alan, uh, in the words of Scott Morrison, this was very, very poor form. But, Alan, I have long advocated uh, that it's now time to uh, merge uh, the ABC and SBS. I think we need to go back to basics and we need to have one broadcaster with a, with a charter that... Uh, sets out and benefits all of Australian, all Australians, irrespective of colour or creed. And I actually think that this is a discussion that needs to be had. Yes, and as happens. a consequence of that, oh. as a consequence of that, we should revisit the whole issue uh, about uh, funding and all of those issues. Bearing in mind, Alan, now that we have a plethora of media outlets yes. that service um, both mainstream and uh, and. Absolutely. Mm. Stack of platforms. Conchetta, uh, Tanya, uh, can I just say this to you? In Adelaide at the moment, we've got some of the finest young achievers in Australia. They're athletes, swimmers. A young girl, Kayleigh McEwen, broke a world record. Ariana Titmus, the greatest 200 freestyle swim in history. Kate Campbell's going to her fourth Olympics. Brilliant, articulate, feminine, gifted Australian. Why shouldn't Australians, Tanya, see these young people on the taxpayer-funded national broadcaster instead of it trying to trash the reputation of a Prime Minister, Tanya? Well, Alan, I'm all for more sport on free-to-air TV, but I'm not sure that Sky would be happy that I'm saying that uh, on Sky tonight. I, I really want to see these swimmers um, Absolutely. perform in the Olympics. They, as yes. you said, Kaylee, like 19 years old, I breaking know. a world record. How fantastic I know, is but that? The, the Australia um, can't I'll see certainly it. be following their... Yeah, yeah. Well, well, I'll can't... be following their progress for sure. Yeah, Australia can't see it, but a national broadcaster comes up with other trash. Just before we go, Conchetta, a final thought from you on this. Well, as I said, Alan, I'd like to see one national broadcaster that's um, sending to air and covering the broadcasting mm. needs of things all Australians nation... rather than a minority. And things yeah. that the nation things wants the to nation see and things in. that the nation right. should be seeing that as you're well. Interested. I agree with you. Thank you both for your contribution. Always good to talk. Always sad that we run out of time, but good we'll night. talk next week. There they are, Tanya Plibersek and Conchetta Fiavaranti-Wells back after the break. <laughs>